Well, Ryan Gortney, a teacher, husband, and father of three, stayed optimistic through his recovery, never doubting his strength. We're running about 130 miles an hour. The car flipped, turned over. That day, we had a mechanical failure. That day was June 3rd, and Jim Ward was one of the first responders to reach Ryan Gortney. At that point, he couldn't have any feeling in his legs, and he was having trouble breathing. Boggle Township called MedFlight to transport Gortney to Memorial Hospital before they even got to the scene. I was basically paralyzed from, from the chest down, and they said, Ryan, you, you, you may not walk again. You may not, but in my heart, and I prayed and I knew that that I was going to walk out of that hospital and he did. And today he came back to the Osceola Dragway walking on his own to say thank you to the men and women who helped save his life. It's just a fantastic opportunity to have the, the med flight crew come back today. Um, had it not been for their actions and hard work um, and the grace of God, uh, I wouldn't be here to have this opportunity today. Courtney and his family travel the country with the wheelie wagon as a ministry tool to reach what they call the lost. Um, it's called Tracks at the Track, where we actually go out and spread the gospel. Ryan and his family say they are focusing on his full recovery, and then they plan on repairing the wheelie wagon and getting back out there preaching their Christian faith. Reporting in the newsroom, Judy Lykowski, ABC 57 News.